isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hanga din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED Hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Okay, ayan. So, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon ulit sa ating mga manonood ngayong hapong ito. So, again, today is Friday, ayan, April 8, 2022. Ayan, so, muli, uh, dahil Friday ngayon, alam nyo na, pag Friday ay Mathematics Day, no? So, welcome to our DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial for Grade 6, uh, Mathematics. So, muli, uh, in behalf of Tutor Prince, ang ating Prince of Math, uh, na aking director for today, ay uh, ako ulit ang inyong mga kasama ngayong hapon. Ako ang inyong math bay. Ako si Tutor Andre. Ayan. So, uh, pag muna tayo simula ay may uh, batean portion muna tayo. Ayan. So, para magandang ating Friday. So, simula natin. Hey, Kevin Martin Doluntak. Good afternoon po. Watching from Sorsogon East Central School, Sorsogon City. Grade 6 SSES Advisor, Ma'am Jessica Ramiscal. Ayan, kay Gwyneth Angeline Legispira Tolentino, good afternoon po, watching from Aurora, a Quezon Elementary School, SDO Quezon City. Ayan, kay Eliza J. Natrihinio, good morning po, or good afternoon po, uh, watching from Malasin Elementary School, SDO City of Ilgan, Isabela, Region 2, kanyang class advisor ay si Ma'am Joanne Darbin. Ayan, kay Angelic Marisa Lazay, good afternoon po, watching from Marilao Central Integrated School, Marilao uh, North District, Marilao Bulacan. Ayan. Kay Idian Rivera, happy learning everyone. Ang kanyang advisor is si Ma'am Sunny Bicarmi Rama, principal si Sir Rodel Domingo Ganyo ng San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School, 
Rojas East District SDO Isabella. Ayan. Kay uh, Roxeline Adirov. Okay, Roxeline Florida. Good afternoon po. Six ang pagkita watching from SDO Batangas Tilanbo Elementary School. Ayan. Ayan Gay Ramos. Good afternoon po. Cassandra Bravo. Good afternoon po. Watching from Gamu Central School. Grade 6 Mahogany. Uh, watching and listening to Deputy E. Tulaya. Thank you very much, Cassandra. Ayan, of course, kay Rihanna Abdir. Good afternoon po, watching from Santa Cruz uh, Central Elementary School. Um, ayan, ang kanyang math advisor ay si, of course, si Sir Renz Christian Pabico na na-celebrate ang kanyang birthday last week. So, happy birthday po, Sir Renz. Salamat po sa lagi po ninyo pagluto sa ating Deped E. Tulay on for grade 6 math and to your students as well. Kay Kerubin, Gabriel Villamore, ayan. Um, Nod tayo, match 6 na. Thank you very much. Ayan, okay. And last thing lang, kay Trisha Lorraine Paguyo. Happy learning everyone. Advisor niya si Ma'am Sunny Rarama ng San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School. Ross is District SDO Isabela. So muli, good afternoon po sa lahat ng mga manood ng ating Deped Itulay. Okay, so simulan na natin ating lesson. So ayan, muli abangan po kami ni Tutor Prince every Friday, uh, mat 6, 1 o'clock to 1.40 p.m. po uh, via our FB and uh, YouTube pages at ating Deped EdTech Unit, Deped Tayo, Deped Philippines, Deped EdTech, and Deped TV. Maraming maraming salam po. Okay, so wala muna tayong students of the week dahil sa nagkaroon tayo ng technical difficulties last week, no? So, atin na muna nga simulan ng ating lesson for quarter 3, week 8. And by the way, this is our last uh, meeting last week for quarter 3. Kasi uh, next, next week, that will be April 22, ay uh, sisimulan na natin natin quarter 4. Next week, ay hindi mo tayo magkikita dahil uh, Holy Week. So, magnilay-nilay muna tayo uh, lahat next week, no? So, we will be resuming our itulay on April 22. So, this will be our last week for quarter 3. So, we have quarter 3 week 8 for mathematics 6. Solving word problems involving measurement of surface area. Okay. So, muli maraming salamat sa ating mga uh, division office, sa ating development team, sa pag-lend uh, sa ating, ng ating modules na ginamit for our lesson for today. Sa inyo mga sir and ma, maraming maraming salamat po. So what are the objectives of this session for today? So at the end of the tutorial session, you are expected to solve word problems involving measurement of surface area. So actually, or technically, a uh, continuation lesson ng lesson ng last week. It's just that uh, we're now going to solve word problems. Okay. So again, disclaimer, uh, apologies for what happened last week uh, due to the technical difficulties. Uh, that's why for today, we're going to continue the few slides. So, may mga natitira pa kasing slides doon. So, tuloy ko lang. So, nung last meeting, discuss ko yung mga iba't ibang mga formula, uh, space figures and their surface area. So, let's have the continuation. So, let's, let's have cylinder. Ayan. So, mapapasin yung cylinder. Uh, ayan yung tura niya. So, we have its net. So, a cylinder with a height H can be split into two congruent circles and a rectangle, ayan. So each of the two circles has a radius whose length is R. So the radius is R. And therefore, the, the area of each circle is given by pi R squared. So we all know the area of circle is pi R squared. And then from that, we have also the length of the rectangle. So the length of the rectangle is the height of the cylinder, which is denoted by small h. And its length is equal to the circumference of the circular base. So the circumference of the circle, as we all know, is equal to 2 pi r. So therefore, getting the area of the uh, rectangle, so we have length times width. So the length is the height, so that's h, and the width is the circumference, which is 2 pi r. Uh, sorry, the length is 2 pi r, rather, and the width is the uh, height. So that's 2 pi r times h, or simply 2 pi r h. And then from that, we'll be getting the surface area of the cylinder. So that is, again, surface area is 2 times the base plus the lateral area. So from that, our formula will be 
service area equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, or you may have also the other formula, surface area is equal to 2 pi r times the quantity of r plus h. So that's the formula for the surface area of the cylinder. Okay, let's proceed to the cone. So for the cone, you have the following parts, namely the slant height, the lateral car, uh, curve surface, and the base. So from that, we will be having the surface area. So as you can see, that is the net of the cone. So we have the lateral surface, we have the slant height, the arc, and of course, the base of the cone. So the base of the cone is, of course, the circle. And again, we get the area of the circle, that is pi r squared. So to get the surface area of the cone, we have surface area equals to the area of the base, capital B, plus the lateral area. So therefore, we have this. So if you unroll the lateral curve surface, the surface will be a sector of a circle. Then the arc of the lateral surface is as long as the circumference of the base. So therefore, from that, this is 2 pi r. So to get the area of the lateral surface, let us divide the sector into equal parts. Ayan. So we have to divide it into equal parts and then rearrange the parts in rectangular formation as shown below. So as you can see, pag pinagdugtong mo yung mga equal parts ng ating lateral surface, so makakabutay ng rectangular formation. So something like that. And as you can see, that's the so it resembles as a rectangle. No? So the new figure now is a rectangle. So its length is equal to pi r, and its width is the slant height s. So therefore, the lateral area is pi r s, because pi r times s. And then from that, we are going to get surface area. So therefore, the surface area of the cone is pi r squared, which is the area of the base, plus pi r s, or simply pi r times the quantity r plus s. So, ayan yung, mga, ayan yung formula ng surface area ng cone. Okay, next, we have the sphere. Ayan, so as you can see, you have the sphere. So, it's a sort of a circle, but it's, of course, it's a space figure. So, three dimension lang siya. So, if you can see, the Greek mathematician Archimedes, or Archimedes, discovered that the surface area of a sphere is the same as the lateral surface area of a cylinder, having the same radius as the sphere, and the height, the length of the diameter of sphere, as you, as you can see, it is shown on the figure, no? And from that figure, you have there the R. So R, of course, represents the length of the radius of the sphere. And also, it represents the length of the radius of the basis of the cylinder. Then from that, we have 2R. 2R is the diameter of the sphere, which is also the height of the cylinder. So from that, we can say that the surface area of the sphere is equal to the lateral area of the cylinder. So therefore, the lateral area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. And if h is equal to 2 r, since our height is twice the radius, so therefore, we have to replace h by 2 r. So we now have the lateral area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r times 2 r. And if you multiply 2 pi r by 2 r, it will be having 4 pi r squared. And since the surface area of the sphere is equal to the lateral area of the cylinder, so it follows that the surface area of the sphere is equal to 4 pi r squared. And that's how to get the surface area of the sphere, 4 pi r squared. Okay, let's have a quick example of uh, getting the surface area of each solid figure. So as you can see, how do you get the surface area of this figure? So you have there, of course, there's a cube of the man. So then the solid figure is cube. And since that is a cube, so we are going to get the surface area of the cube. And how do we get the surface area of the cube? We have the formula 6 times square of the side or 6 times s squared. So from that, we are going to have the given side is 6 centimeters. So therefore, our solution will be surface area is equal to 6 times the square of 6 centimeters. So make sure that whenever we solve problems like this, we have to indicate the uh, unit of measurement used. 
or we have to put the unit of measurement. So we have six times the square of six centimeters. So therefore, applying the order of operations, we have two uh, square first six. So square of six is 36. Six times six is 36, no? And then we have six times 36 square centimeters. And of course, six times 36 is 216 square centimeters. So therefore, the surface area of the cube is 216 square centimeters. Again, do not forget, Whenever we have surface area, comparison of area, so we have to put the word square because area is in, in terms of square units. So 216 square centimeters is our answer. Okay, next, let's have this figure. So what can you see there? Of course, obviously that's a cone. So the name of the solid figure is cone. And then we have the formula. Surface area is equal to pi r squared plus pi r s so uh, make sure that uh, whenever you solve for the surface area of the given solid figure you should uh, the, uh, know the formula no so the surface area of the cone is pi r squared plus pi r s so from that we have to uh, replace the following the following given we have the radius is three centimeters and the slant height of the cone is seven centimeters and since we have there the pi so we will be using pi uh equal to 3.14 or 3 and 1400 so from that we have to replace r by 3 centimeters and s by 7 centimeters so you now have surface area equals to 3.14 times the square of 3 centimeters plus 3.14 times 3 centimeters times 7 centimeters of course you just simply apply the order of operations so you simplify first at uh, the square of 3 centimeters. So 3 times 3 is, of course, 9. So we now have, uh, sorry for that, Ayan, so 3 squared is 9. So we now have 3.14 times 9. And then after that, we have to, of course, multiply uh, 3 times 7 here. So 3 times 7 is 21. So we now have 21 square centimeters. And then, simply multiply nyo lang yung dalawa. So, 3.14 times 9 is 28.26 square centimeters. Similarly, we have 3.14 times 21 square centimeters. So, that is 65.94 square centimeters. And lastly, you simply add the two given decimals. So, we have 28.26 centimeters squared plus 65.94 square centimeters. So, that's equivalent to 94.2 square centimeters centimeters so the answer will be 24.2 square centimeters ayan so very good ang ating mga uh, grade 6 so habang nagdi-discuss ako ay uh, nagagawa pa rin nila magsagot ng ating problems okay so let's have the next one for the next one you have of course of course we have our cylinder there and then we were going to use the formula so surface area of cylinder is denoted by the formula 2 pi r squared Plus 2 pi r h. So, sana nakuha niyo ito, my dear students. And then from here, again, we have to replace the given um, information there in the cylinder. So, you're given the radius of the cylinder, which is 2 centimeters, and the height of 5 centim. Uh, so, wait. So, I think it should be 5 centimeters. Okay, so correction lang. So this is 5 centimeters. So the height is 5 centimeters. Okay. Because it's on the given. So from that, we are going to replace the radius by 2 centimeters and the height by 5 centimeters. And again, we will be using pi equals to 3.14. So again, we have now surface area equals to 2 times 3.14 times the square of 2 centimeters plus 2 times 3.14 times 2 centimeters times 5 centimeters. So, ito ay medyo kailangan mag maging mapagpasensya na tayo, my dear students, kasi mahaba-haba lang ating solutions, no? But somehow, once you simplify, ay uh, dapat tama kalalapisan natin na sagot. So, sabi daw dito, 87.20 centimeters, 87.92 pala, sorry. So, let's see kung tama. So, we have there. The final answer will be 87.92 square centimeters. So that is our final answer. Very good, my dear students. So therefore, that's how to find the surface area of the given cylinder. 
Okay, so let's have another one. We have there the next one. Okay, obviously what figure is shown. So that is a rectangular prism. No, so since there were rectangular prism, so we are given the length, the width, and the height. So therefore, we will be using the formula um, surface area equals to twice the length times width plus twice the length times height plus twice the width times height or 2LW plus 2LH plus 2WH. And then again, we'll be replacing the given um, length, width, and height by their values. So the length is 7 centimeters, the width is 2 centimeters, and the height is 4 centimeters. So sabi nila 100, 100 uh, square centimeters. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay, let's see. Okay, so according here, so we have 2 times 7 centimeters times 2 centimeters plus 2 times 7 centimeters times 4 centimeters plus 2 times 2 centimeters times 4 centimeters. And of course, simplify nyo lang one by one. So pwede nyo i-multiply ito. 7 times 2, you have 14. 7 times 4 here, you have 28. Then 2 times 4 is 8. Then multiply nyo ulit. Tabay nyo na. 2 times 14 is 28. 2 times 28 is 56. And 2 times 8 is 16. Then lastly, you add the 3. So you have 28 plus 56 plus 16. The final answer is... 100. So therefore, the surface area of the rectangular prism is 100 square centimeters. So that is how to find the surface area of the given solid figure, rectangular prism. Okay, so let's have the, I think this is the last one for the given. So we have there the given, of course, what shape or what solid figure is given on your screens. So of course, that is a sphere, no? So since you have a sphere, so we have to use the surface area of sphere. Then that's denoted by 4 pi r squared. And since you're only given the radius of the sphere, so we just simply substitute the radius by its value. So therefore, have the given, the radius is 9 millimeters. The radius of the sphere is 9 millimeters. So from that, we are going to use again pi equals to 3.14. So usually, ginagamit natin ang pi as 3.14, but again, uh, depende sa given problem. May iba namang problems na minsan di na ginagawang 3.14 ng pi. So minsan pi na lang. Or sometimes 22 over 7. Pero mostly, 3.14 ang ginagamit for pi. That's the approximate value of pi kasi. Okay, so from that, we are going to replace the radius by 9 millimeters. So that's surface area equals to 4 times 3.14 times the square of 9 millimeters. So therefore, we have, um, ayan, so we have 4 times 3.14. So napasin nyo, ito muna multiply natin para mabilis ang time mag-multiply. So we have 4 times 3.14, that's 12.56. And then we have to get the square of 9. The square of 9 is 81. So we have 81 square millimeters. That will be multiplied to 12.56, and therefore the surface area of the sphere is uh, 1017.36 or 1017 and 36 hundreds millimeters squared or square millimeters. So that is the final answer. So that is how to find the surface area of the sphere. Okay, so now that we're already done uh, solving. Uh, the given surface areas of the solid figure. So let's now solve word problems. But before we solve word problems, again, uh, just to remind you all that these are the formulas in order to find the surface area of the given solid figure. So hopefully, I uh, ninyo o nalaman nyo na kung marunong kayong gumamit ng formulas, Ayan po yung mga kailangan ninyong mga malalang. Ayan. So, nung nakaraan, na-discuss ko na pala yung prisms, cube, rectangular pyramid, and continuation natin today, which is the cylinder, cone, and sphere. So, sana po ay nakuha niyo yung ating mga formulas. Okay. So, yung nagagamitin natin in order to solve word problems involving uh, measurement of surface area. So, how do we solve word problems involving measurement of surface area? So, let's have an example. So kind of, uh, let's have to this word problem. So let's read and study this problem. 
So, we have hashtag ang bait ni Mary. Ayan, ang bait ni Mary. Ayan. Okay, so the problem is, Mary wants to wrap her rectangular gift with a dimension of 15 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 2 centimeters. The question is, what is the least amount of wrapper can she use to wrap the gift? Okay, so in question natin. So muli, let's try to analyze the problem. So in, a, in this case, can you help Mary to find the least amount of wrapper to wrap her gift? Mahahulaan ba natin? Masasolve ba natin yung ating word problem? Of course, to solve the problem, we will answer the following. So in order to solve this problem, we will apply the four-step rule. So we have step one, of course, we understand the problem. Hopefully, once you understand, you read first the problem. No? So let's have this. So what is asked in the problem? So based on the problem, it says that we get or we are going to get the least amount of wrapper that Mary wants to use to wrap the gift. Okay, so that is asked in the problem. Next, what are the so the given facts are of course you have the dimensions of the uh, rectangular gift that is 15 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 2 centimeters. So how are you going to solve the problem? So once you finish step 1, we now proceed to step 2. We are going to plan the problem. Madami mga nagsasagot na kagad ng problem. Nakakabilis. Bibilis magsasolve ng ating mga grade 6 students. Ayan. Sige. So step 2, plan. Okay, so plan. What formula are you going to use? Of course, since you are given clue, rectangular gift. So obviously that resembles a rectangular prism. So the problem asks for the wrapper to be used around the gift. And for that, we're going to use the formula in finding the surface area of the rectangular prism. Ayan. So syempre, may clue naman kayo. Nakita nyo na yung each one ng rectangular gift. So from that, we will now proceed to step number three, and that is we solve the problem. So if you solve the problem, of course, you're going to show your computation for that. So for the solutions we have, we use again the, for the formula to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. So that is, formula is surface area is equal to two times the sum of length times width length times height and width times height so you may have that formula so from that of course we're going to replace the following so obviously in the given problem your length is 15 centimeters so this is your length and your width is six centimeters then your height is two centimeters so that will be your l w and h respectively so from that we're going to replace it, uh, replace them in the formula. So if you do that, we will now have surface area is equal to two times the quantity, uh, 15 centimeters times six centimeters, plus 15 centimeters times two centimeters, plus six centimeters times two centimeters. So that's how to uh, solve the problem. And then from that, we're going to get the surface area. So from that, of course, we apply the gem dust. So we have to solve first the terms or the numbers inside the parentheses. And of course, we multiply the numbers. So 15 times 6 is 90. So you have 90 square centimeters. 15 centimeters times 2 centimeters is 30 square centimeters. And then 6 centimeters times 2 centimeters is 12 square centimeters. So from that, we are now going to add them all. So 90 plus 30 plus 12. So that's equivalent to... 132. So we now have uh, surface area equals to 2 times the square, or should I say 2 times 132 square centimeters. And from that, we multiply 2 by 132, and therefore we'll get 264 square centimeters. So therefore, we can now say that uh, 264 square centimeters is the amount of wrapper needed to wrap the gift. So everybody got it correctly. Very good. Uh, grade 6 students. Ayan. Okay. And of course, we have to apply the last step in solving word problems, and that is by checking. So how do we check the problem? 
So to check our answer, we will find the area using another formula. So yung kanina formula, that is the one formula in getting the surface area. So this is the second one. This is another way of solving the problem. So we have to, again, apply the formula for surface area, another formula, two times length times width, plus two times length times height, plus two times width times height. So from that, we have to replace again, uh, length, width, and height by 15 centimeters, six centimeters, and two centimeters, respectively. So ganun pa din ang gagawin ninyo. For checking lang naman ito, syempre, kailangan natin check kung talagang tama ang sagot natin. So we have to replace, yan, so you have two times the quantity 15 centimeters times 6 centimeters plus two times the quantity 15 centimeters times 2 centimeters plus two times the quantity 6 centimeters times 2 centimeters. And of course, you just simplify, so multiply the number, so you have two times 15 times 6, then plus two times 15 times 2 plus two times 6 times 2, so you'll have this one, yeah. So we multiply muna yung salob ng parentheses. So 15 times 6 is 90, then 15 times 3 is 30, 6 times 2 is 12. And then from that, multiply the given numbers there by pairs, ayan. So 2 times 90, 2 times 30, and 2 times 12. So you arrive at 180 square centimeters plus 60 square centimeters plus 24 square centimeters. And if you add the 3, the result will be 264 square centimeters. So notice that. Ano napansin ninyo? Uh, grade 6. So notice that we have observed that with the answer is the same even if we are using different process or different methods. So kahit na ibang ginawa natin, still pares pa din yung ating kasagutan. Okay. Sige. So let's go to the next problem. Let's have another one. So hashtag milk naman dyan. Ayan. So our problem here is find the surface area of a can of milk whose diameter is 12 inches and 20 inches high. So please take note of the problem, huh? So find the surface area of a can of milk whose diameter is 12 inches and 20 inches high. Okay, so again, you have to apply this, the four steps. So four steps to the time. So step number one, that is we understand the problem. What is asked in the problem? Of course, you're asked to find the surface area of the milk can, no? And then, what are the given facts in the problem? So take note, the given facts are the uh, diameter is 12 inches and the height of the, the can is 20 inches. So that's the height of the can. Of course, how are you going to apply the problem? How are you going to solve the problem, rather? Of course, the next step is to plan. An formula ang kailangan ninyong gamitin? So, of course, since the area, the kind of milk resembles the cylinder, so therefore, we will find the surface area of a cylinder. So, syempre, kailangan ninyong gamitin yung surface area ng cylinder. And from that, we now apply step 3, that is solving the problem. So, again, we will show the computation. So, the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Since you're given the diameter and the height, so according to the formula, we have the radius. So, of course, how do you find the radius? So, since you're given the diameter, so we all know that the diameter is 2 times the radius. So, therefore, to find the radius, we are going to get half the measure of the diameter. So, that is 1 half times 12 inches, and therefore, that is 6 inches. Uh, your radius, rather, your radius will now be uh, 6 inches. So the radius of the cylinder is 6 uh, inches. So therefore, we have to replace radius by 6 inches and the height 20 inches. So we now have this. Okay, so medyo aning ko na lang, ah, kasi malapit na rin mag-time. So ganyan ang gagawin natin. Papalta mo lang yung pi ng 3.14. Papalita mo yung R ng 6 inches and papalita mo yung H ng 20 inches. You have that. And of course, just what we did earlier, so we just simplify. So you now have this. So notice that we multiply first 2 by 3.14. So 2 times 3.14 is uh, equivalent to 6.28. And then you have square of 6, which is 36. Then 
multiply mo rin yung 2 by 3.14, that's 6.28. And you multiply 6 inches by 20 inches, that is 120 square inches. And then from that, you just multiply. So you have uh, 6.28 times 36, that's 226.08. Then we have 6.28 times 120, that is 753.6 square inches. And if you, if you add the two, the result will be 979.68 square inches. Wow, ang gagali talaga ng ating grade 6 students. Talagang tama ang kanilang sagot. Very good. Okay. Ang gagali talaga ng magsagot ng ating grade 6. And then from that, we therefore have 979.68 square inches is the surface area of the can of milk. Ayan. So that's how to find the surface area of the milk can. Okay. And of course, the last step is to check. So to check the problem, whether it's correct. So we're going to find uh, the surface area using another formula. And... We have this following. So another way of solving the surface area is this. So step one, we solve the lateral area of the can. So the lateral area, since it's cylinder, that is 2 pi RH. So technically, parang ganun lang din, no? Kasi ibang way lang to. So we have 2 times 3.14 times 6 inches times 20 inches. So same thing. So the lateral area is 753.6 square inches. And then from that, we're going to check... And we have to apply step two. So once you find the lateral area, area, you will now find the surface area. So that is surface area of the cylinder. That's two uh, lateral area plus two times the area of the base. Because two times. Kasi di ba sa cylinder, dalawa yung uh, bases natin. We have both uh, circles. No? So therefore, we have to apply the area of circle for our capital B or area of base. So therefore, we now have LA or lateral area plus 2 pi r squared. And then from that, we have to replace r by 6 inches. So we have that lateral area is 753.6 square inches plus 2 times 3.14 times the square of 6 inches. And from that, ganun lang din, no? So technically, parehas lang din siya nung kanina. It's just that we have to solve it in a, another way another method so therefore still if you do that we will arrive at the same answer surface area of the can is 979.68 square inches so that's how to find the surface area of the cylinder and notice that you have observed that the answer is again the same even if we are using different process okay so sana i na yun na pag solve ng word problems Sige nga, uh, isang mabilis lang tayo. So, try nyo nga itong isolve uh, using uh, the formula yan. So, again, solve the following problems. Use pi equals 3.14. So, first problem is find the surface area of the basketball with a radius of 4.25 centimeters. Round your answer to the nearest tenths. And the second problem is an ice, an ice cream cone has a circular base of radius uh, 2 centimeters and the slant height 5 uh, centimeters. So what is the surface area of the cone? Ayan. So we are going to find the surface area of the basketball and the surface area of the cone. Okay, so let's see. Sino kaya ang, uh, oh, sino kaya ang tamang sagot? Sige, let's see. So, habang nasasagot kayo ay uh, may mga babati pa ba? O may mga humahabol pa ba na bumabati? Sige. At so, nakikita ko may mga bago tayong mga students sa ating comment uh, box. So, katulad dito, si, parang ngayon ko na ito na nakikita ng sagot, si Flodifel Cruz. Ayan, si Zoe Rabago. Ayan, nakikita ko lang ha, si Mimi Villanueva Ocampo. Ayan. Si Kathleen Kaila, si Kyle Vincent Alcantara, si Zijan or Zijan Gabriel Guevara. Ayan, si, sino pa ba yung mga bago? May mga uh, uh, unfamiliar na student. Ayan. So binabati na natin para lang anong makita natin. Ay, si Phil Sebastian Sardito. Kasi syempre yung mga iba na sasagot, syempre yung mga hindi ko na binabanggit. Uh, 
of course, kilalang kilala ko na kayo. Especially na like kayong very active sa pagsasagot ng ating homework at kayo nagiging part ng ating soulmates, no? So, again, uh, mamaya-maya may work problem tayo homework. And also, later then after this session, ay magkakaroon tayo ng recognition or awarding uh, para lang sa, 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 sa ating mga active students ngayong third quarter. Yung mga nagpakitang galing o nagpakitang gilas ngayong third quarter. Ayan, si Diane Tuazon, bago lang din sa akin. Ayan, si Flodipel Cruz. Ayan, ano siya? Si Francis Joseph Cruz. I think si... Si Karen Kata na to. Hello po, ma'am, sir. Ayan. Si Francis Joseph Cruz pala ito. So, nag-aaral siya sa Rufino Cruz Memorial Elementary School sa may Bulacan. Wow, all the way from Bulacan. Ang kanyang Bulacan District, Pulilan. Ang kanyang teacher ay si Ma'am Melanie Cabarubias. Ang kanyang principal ay si Rio Bernadette Tovera. Grade 6, Venus siya. Ayan, so may mga nagsasagot na. So, sabi ng mga iba, ang er, uh, service era doon ng basketball ay 226 0.865 square centimeters. So, nagkakaisa kayo sa 226.865 or 226.865 square centimeters. O yung iba, round off lang, 226.9. Okay. So, yung sa cone naman, sabi, 62.80 uh, square centimeters. Okay. Sige, let's check. Okay. So, again, we have the formula for the surface area of a sphere. So, since the basketball is a sphere, so we will use the surface area of the sphere. So, that's 4 pi r squared. So, again, we will use pi as 3.14. So, that's 4 times 3.14 times uh, the radius is 4.25 squared. So, of course, we have to uh, simplify, no? So, from that, we are going to have or oh, multiply 4 by 3.14. So, if you do that, so, 4 times 3.14, that's equivalent to uh, yeah, 12.56. And then, that's multiplied by the square of 4.25. So, if you multiply 4.25 by 4.25, the result is 18.0625. Of course, we have to put the centimeters here, and we have square centimeters. And then, uh, we have to multiply 12.56 by 18. 0 0.0625. So, of course, you should do that manually. Uh, so, therefore, our final answer is 2026.865 square centimeters. So, that's the surface area of the basketball. And, and of course, all of you got it correctly. Very good. Okay, and of course, the next one. Since the given is a cone, so you're going to get the surface area of the cone. And that is the formula, pi r squared plus pi r s. So that's pi r squared times pi r s. So that's equivalent to 3.14 multiplied by the square of the radius. So the radius is 2, two centimeters. So you have the square of 2 plus 3.14 times the radius is 2 centimeters, times the slant height is 5 centimeters. So that is 3.14 times, uh, this is 2 squared, so that's 4. The 4 square centimeters plus, so you have 3.14 times 2 times 5 is 10. So you have 10 square centimeters. Then from here we have uh, 3.14 times 4, that is... 12.56, so that's 12.56 square centimeters plus 3.14 times 10, so that's 31.4 square centimeters. And if you add uh, 21, uh, 30, sorry, 31.4 by 12.56, so 31.4 plus 12.56, so that's 6, 9, uh, 3, 4. So that is 43.96. So therefore, the surface area of the cone is 43.96 square centimeters and based on your comments i'm seeing that you answered them correctly ang gagaling talaga ng ating mga grade 6 students so talaga madali kayo matuto sa ating lesson for today ayan so therefore that's how to find uh, the surface area 
of course, so gamay nyo na ang pagkuha ng surface area kahit sa given figure or even in word problems. And because of that, I'll be giving you an assignment. And what's your assignment? Ayan. So please take note, I have prepared there two problems or two word problems in order to uh, apply what you've learned for today. So for your homework, again, make sure lamang na whenever you are going to make your homework or to post your homework, please post it in our Deped Itulay FB page. And please use our hashtags, hashtags Itulay Level Up and hashtag ito, ah, Mat 6 Q3 Finale Week. Mat 6 Q3 Finale Week. And hanggat maaari, kung po pwede, hopefully, ay pakitag po kami ni Tutor Prince. Ulitin ko po, pakitag po kami ni Tutor Prince kung para din makita din namin ang inyong mga posts para ma-reply namin kayo kagad. Okay? So that will be our assignment. So kayo na po ang bahala magbasa dyan. So you have two problems and um, make sure that you will going to solve them uh, correctly. So please show your complete solutions and uh, hopefully tama ang inyong mga kasagutan. Ayan. So basahin ko na din. So Kim plans to construct a tent with the following dimensions. The slant height is 3 meters and the base is 2 meters by 2 meters. How much fabric is required to construct the tent? So technically, ito sana yung assignment natin na ibibigay ko sana last week. Pero dahil sa technical difficulties, hindi ko naibigay. So ngayon ko na na siya ibinigay. And of course, this is another additional problem. So it's a problem lang. Gerald owned an antique shop. He is applying a coating to a rectangular jewelry box whose dimension is 5 meters by 3 meters by 4 meters. The kind of varnish is enough to cover 80 square meters. The question is, is there enough varnish left in the can to coat the jewelry box? And then explain your answer. Okay, so if I am a little bit of higher order thinking skills or HOTS, some explanation na kinakailangan. Okay, so that will be your homework. And before we end, Ayan. So, para nga lang ko muna ang ating mga uh, magagaling na students na nagpakitang kilas at uh, nag-participate sa ating uh, Deped Itulay Online Tutorial for Quarter 3. So, kung handa na po kayo ay uh, iisa-isahin ko na po ang uh, mga nanalo o mga nakakuha ng ating certificates. So, sino-sino nga ba sila, Tutor Andre? So, kuhanda ng lahat. Let's get started. So, by the way, ayan. So, simulan natin sa una. Ayan. So, nakuha ng ating certificate sa ating uh, alamat chuti. Ayan. So, certificate of recognition is here awarded to Enaj Erika J. Galang of Sinigalasan Elementary School, SDO Bacor, Cavite, Region 4A. Alamat chuti for third quarter. Wow, very good. Ayan, si Enaj. Sino pa, sino pa ba? Ayan. Uh, by the way, palalahanan ko na lang ulit kayo, my dear students, whenever you're going to post your certificates sa ating FB or Instagram, uh, mangyari lamang po na pakitakpan yung ating mga pirma dyan, yung mga pirma namin dyan. <laughs> pakitakpan na lang po pag magpo-post po kayo sa social media ng inyong certificates. So, pakitakpan na lang Para na rin po sa Data Privacy Act, no? So, for the safety na din, no? So, hopefully, naintindihan niyo po yun, my dear students. Maraming salamat po. So, congratulations ulit kay Enaj, Erika J. Galang. Sino-sino pa ba? Ayan. Also, ang nanalo din ng alamat, anako din ng alamat duty, si Nerwin P. Negal Jr. ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A. Ayan. Sino pa po? Ayan, si Gracie N. Kionisala ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A, Alamat Chuti. Next, si Ian Gail R. Dilay ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A, Alamat Chuti. Ayan, si Gwinnett Angeline L. Tolentino ng Aurora A. Quezon Elementary School, SDO Quezon City, NCR, Alamath Chuti. Maria Riana Miticia T. Sempron ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, 
SDO Laguna Region 4A Alamat Chuti. Wow, dami mga Alamat Chuti sa. Ayan, si Maria Erian May B. Zacarias ng Sorsogon East Central Elementary School, SDO Sorsogon Region 5, Alamat Chuti. Si Jeric Johan S. Ramirez, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Alamath Chuti. Ayan, si Adrian Ray D. Rivera ng San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School, SDO Isabela Region 2, Alamath Chuti. Ayan, si Gerald R.V. D. Cantor ng San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School, SDO, uh, SDO Isabela Region 2, Alamath Chuti. Si Henry Stephen Kadapan, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A, Alamath, Chuti. Okay, ito iba naman. So, susunod naman ang ating ang mga math tinik Chuti. Wow, sila ay sina. Ayan. Kevin Martin J. Dalunta ng Sorsogon East Central Elementary School, SDO Sorsogon, Region 5, math tinik Chuti. Si Alessandro D. Sandoval, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A, Math Tinik Chuti. Si Alia Judiel D. Javier, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A, Math Tinik Chuti. Rihanna A. Abadier, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A, Math Tinik Chuti. Si Ivan Joseph C. Felnar, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Math Tinik Chuti. Carl Yuan S. Marasigan, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Math Tinik Chuti. Ay, naman, ang ating mga Math Gilas Chuti. Wow. Ang mga Math Gilas Chuti. Si John Vincent A. Gadi, Marauli Elementary School, Masantol South District, SDO Pampanga Region 3, Math Gilas Chuti. Lorraine Jewel M. Damitan, ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Math Gilas Chuti. Si Tristan Uriel M. Cruz, ng uh, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, uh, Math Gilas Chuti. Si Fiona Irene U. Espina, ng Maluli Elementary School, Masantol South District, SDO Pampanga Region 3, Matsigasig Chuti. Wow, Matsigasig Chuti pala. Okay, next. Si Angelic Marie D. Salazar, ng Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsikap Chuti din. Si Sian Ronald S. Castillo, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A. Matsikap Chuti din. Si Jeremy Lin A. Gauna, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna, Region 4A. Matsikap Chuti. James Joseph E. Bumatay, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Matt Sikap Chuti. Ayan, si Carl Dominic U. Baliwas ng Munoz Central School, SDO Science City of Munoz, Nueva Ecija Region 3, Matt Chaga Chuti. Wow, ang dami mga awardees. Very good. Si Briggs Matthew I. Soliman, ng Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Math Chaga Chuti. Si Cassandria C. Bravo, ng Gamu Central, SDO Isabela Region 2, Math Chaga Chuti. Si Jenbert B. Manese, ng Malauli Elementary School, Masantol South District, SDO Pampanga Region 3, Math Chaga Chuti. Ayan, si Zyrene Milka 
si Ascendente ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Machaga Chuti. Wow. Ayan, Matsipag Chuti naman, Matsipag Chuti, si Princess Lorraine, si Del Rosario ng Abangan Sur Elementary School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Si Laila Camille B. Vergara, ang Marilao Central uh, Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Ayan, wow. Si Princess Yana T. Taglokop ng Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Si Lei Aldred Ibay ng Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Ayan, si Boxy Liana R. Dugan ng Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Si Alessandra Amuraw ng uh, Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Si Ziljan Evans G. Ofrasio ng Marilao Central Integrated School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti. Si Rona May Esperanza ng Santa Barbara Elementary School, SDO Bulacan Region 3, Matsipag Chuti din. Wow. Ayan, si Mariko Asia G. Vasquez ng Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, SDO Laguna Region 4A, Matsipag Chuti. I think this is the last award for the student. And of course, sa ating school, na of course, laging active sa ating quarter, sa ating debit ituloy online tutorial for quarter 3. None other than, of course, uh, Santa Cruz Central Elementary School from SDO Laguna Region 4A. Most active school. Congratulations po. Ayan, sa alit, sa Santa Cruz Central Elementary School, of course. Kay Sir Renz pa din, Sir Renz. Congratulations po ulit sa inyo. And of course, lahat po ng certificates na uh, certificate of recognition ay, uh, of course, is presented to uh, the following, ayan. During the third quarter, itulay online tutorial in Mathematics 6 of school year 2021-2022 conducted by the ICTS Educational Technology Unit uh, given this eighth day of March. Sorry, this is April. Uh, no, correct, correction lang po. April pala to dapat, no? Ayan. Uh, given this eighth day of April 2022 through StreamYard. Of course, signed by yours truly, Matthew Tutor. By the tutor prince, of course, Math 6 tutor, and of course, our elementary math program head, signed by Mr. Mark Anthony Amsal, Itulai Project Lead, and Sir Mark Anthony C., head of ICTS ETU. Ayan. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. And muli, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. And of course, uh, before we end, of course, kung meron kayong mga suggestions, feedbacks, or uh, 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 kahit ano man ay uh, mangyari lamang na pakiscan itong uh, QR code na nakikita niyo sa inyong mga screens right now or you may visit us uh, at www.tinyurl.com slash 3Q stakeholders feedback and of course maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga feedbacks so thank you very much for listening and uh, for comments or suggestions please do email us at edtech at deped dot gov dot ph so muli um uh, up next is tutor rose ann and tutor jolly for mathematics grade seven so muli maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok so see you all on april 22 so next week is holy week so tayong lahat ay magnilay nilay muna uh, at uh, lagi po tayong magdadasal sa panonood jo so muli maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat this has been your tutor, Tutor Andre, kasama si Tutor Prince, ang aking director. Thank you, Sir Prince. So, hope you learned something and uh, see you all on April 22. Goodbye and happy weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Ang husay naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session samang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. 
may bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!